guys, Hannah here from hannahsmilitaria.com and on today's World War II Connected video, I thought it would be fun to make a small switchboard out of some vermit cushion. Now, full disclosure, I'm sure this is pretty obvious, but I don't speak German. I took 18 months of schooling when I was about 10, and after that I was forced to take Spanish, so if I say anything wrong or weird, I apologize, it's not intentional, and I promise I am doing my best. All right, let's build our switchboard. These from Cashin were issued in either sets of five or individually in leather boxes just like this. When you open up the box, you'll see a commarbrit for your patch cable. The entire device is stored next to it. And then next to that is the little box that's gonna act as the alarm for the operator to know that a call is incoming. You would need one of these for each phone line you wanted to add to your network. Looking at this, this is the front, this is the top, and this is the back. All three sides have terminals on it. Let's get these connected to each other. The first thing you're gonna do is disconnect the patch cables, and then you'll notice that on the front, in between the terminals, there's a little piece of metal. You need to free that unscrew the left side and let this swing freely on both the front and the back. Once you've done that to both, you're gonna put them right next to each other. Swing that up, screw it down into place, and then do the same on the back. Now that you've done that, these two have jumped the gap and are connected. I'm gonna replace my patch cords and let's get these connected to our phones. In past videos, we've discussed how phones can be connected to each other, either through the patch cables in the front of the phone or the terminals at the very top of the phones. For this to work, these need to be connected through the terminals at the top of the phone. Because it's just me, I'm gonna make this very simple and we're gonna have this phone act as the operator and this phone act as the line in. The first thing I need to do is get the operator phone connected to our little switchboard. Now, the operator line is always gonna be connected to the terminals on the front and the back. The same with any other German piece of comms equipment, or basically any other. It doesn't matter if this yellow cable is connected to the front or the back, it would have the same effect. Now that I have my operator phone hooked up, we're gonna connect our line in. The line in doesn't connect through the front and the back. All of the lines in are gonna be connected through the top. So I'm gonna plug in my white wire and my green. And again, it doesn't matter if this is connected here or here, the effect and the outcome are exactly the same. Now, looking at this closer, you're gonna see that on this one, and it should be on every one, but it's missing here, there's a little black board that looks like it's meant to hold a tag or a piece of paper, and it is. Because we have this phone line set up with a two wire system, we were gonna attach this little white tag in here indicating it's two wires. If there was a single strand, like an earthbound wire, we would have a red piece of paper indicating that slipped into there. Now, this right here, is actually the exact same mechanism as what drops the little black flap on a switchboard that tells the operator a phone line is coming in. If these plugs look familiar to you, it's because they should. These same plugs are in the top of phones and other equipment, and they can also be used to patch in a headset. Let's say there's a call going on and an NCO or somebody else wants to listen in on the call, they put their headset on and plug in right here. 
Now that we have both our operator line and our inbound line hooked up, let's have the inbound line call in. He rings in. That drops that little flap right there, telling the operator that a call is coming in. The operator picks up the phone line, and as soon as they drop this switch, they can hear the person on this end of the call. Now that they're talking, they know that this person needs the next line out to talk to the other phone. So they take the patch cable and connect the two. It doesn't matter which cable you have connected. If you connect these two and the connection seems a little iffy, you can put it back and jump over to this side. Once it's connected and the connection is good, if the operator no longer needs to talk or be heard, they can disconnect themselves from the call and press this button. In a perfect world, when the call is over, the line that called in would ring in again and tell the operator that the call has been disconnected and they can disconnect the patch cables. In future videos, we're going to go over the Uber trackers and the standard switchboards. Please hit that subscribe button to see more content like this, and I look forward to seeing your comments below. Thank you so much.